I finished part one of this topic with a key point and a related question. The point was that soils can vary quite a lot over short distances. And the question was, so how can we possibly get continuous soil information for a larger area and extrapolate from point to landscape level? That's what I'm going to let you see here in part two on soil information. To get continuous soil information for a larger area and be able to move from point information to the landscape scale, we use what is called soil survey. Soil survey is a systematic mapping of soils to classify soil types and properties over larger areas. It involves a combination of soil profiles and soil auguring to identify various soil units in an area and mark the boundaries between them. From a soil survey, you can make a soil map, like the one here that shows the soil types around Wacheningen in the Netherlands. You can see the typical elements of a soil map. The soil units are shown in different colors and are listed in a legend beside the map. Other important features are the topographic map in the background, the name of the map sheet and the scale of the map. Usually there is an annex too with more information on soil use and management. You may be surprised to learn that there are global soil maps. The Harmonized World Soil Database, released in 2006, contains some 16,000 mapping units. And these units link to a database with soil property data such as pH or soil organic carbon content. You can display maps of this data in our ISRIC map viewer. Shown here is an example of global clay contents in the subsoil. You can also download and work with the data itself, but in this case you would need some experience with geographic information systems, or short GIS. And that brings me to IT. In the last 15 years, information technology has really changed the production, handling and use of soil information. A new discipline called digital soil mapping or pedometric mapping has evolved. And in many parts of the world, it is complementing or even replacing labor intensive and costly traditional soil survey methodologies. In a nutshell, digital soil mapping is the production of digital maps using computer assisted tools and models. Here's how it works. You use existing soil information point information or existing maps and other environmental data that cover the same area. You feed these data into a statistical model which helps you predict soil properties for the whole area. The model cannot provide you with the truth for all locations. What it calculates is the probability of a certain soil or soil feature occurring in other places that lack measured data. The accuracy of these predictions depends strongly on the quality of the data that you feed into the model. Good quality input means good quality output. This is an example of a global soil map produced with the help of digital soil mapping. It shows the soil types for the whole world at a resolution of one kilometer. At ISRIC World Soil Information, we are in the process of calculating soil type and property maps at even finer resolutions, like this map showing the topsoil organic carbon content in the area around Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, at 250 meter resolution. By now, you probably have smoke coming out of your ears, but please stay with me for one more slide. It touches on an important topic. I have shown you how soil profile and other environmental data, in combination with statistical models, are used to produce maps of soil types or soil properties such as pH or soil organic carbon. But what if you need thematic maps, for example, on resistance to wind erosion, soil fertility or performance in terms of flood protection? Then you need one more translation step to go from soil properties to a soil quality. Sometimes this can be rather easy, for example, the susceptibility to wind erosion which can be roughly judged from the sand content of the soil. But for something like soil fertility, 
A combination of soil chemical, physical and biological properties are needed for your evaluation. Ok, now let's wrap this up. Here are the take home messages. Soil information is really valuable for making land management decisions. There is a wealth of soil data and maps available. Sometimes you have to be a detective to find it and it is not always easy to use out of the box. But a lot of information is out there. Things are easier when you know the type and scale of soil information you need. ISRIC is the world data center for soils. You are always welcome to search our soil library and map collection at www.isric.org. Thanks for being interested in soil.